Good morning, everybody. I am back. I haven't done a makeup video in quite a while. Of course, I don't do many videos, so I am new to YouTube. Um, but I do enjoy it. I am on YouTube all the time. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love it. So I am going to do um, a Get Ready With Me. Plus, I am going to um, uh, review um, this new mascara that um, I received. So, um, so what we're going to do is just jump right into it. So, I have put on my um, Equate Dry Skin Cream um, about 30 minutes ago because it's very thick and rich. And if I don't let it soak in, um, it messes with the foundation. So, um, and I do it, especially on days like today, or we have the heater on a lot, it's getting really cold. So, and I'm in, you know, California, so it's like crazy. But I am in uh, central California, you know, about 30 miles east of San Francisco. And um, it's very overcasty today, but my skin is so dry. So if I don't do something, uh, whether it be at night and then something lighter in the morning, if I'm really in a rush, I'll do something lighter, um, like just a daily uh, moisturizer. But if I'm not in a rush like today, I can actually uh, let that, you know, the dry skin moisturizer, the dry skin cream, it's the Equate. It's just like the Pons, but it's um, the dupe. So, and I really like it. And I used an, an oil cleanser this morning to cleanse my face because I was just, I needed to soak in. All right, so today I'm going to do it a little different than I normally do. I am going to do my eyes first because I am going to use the tape. Um, and I really, I did this the other day and I really, really liked the look of it. And uh, if I can find my tape. I had it out here for heaven's sakes you guys oh there it is <laughs> it's the cutest tape it's little owls that's all I could find instead of just regular you know scotch tape so I am gonna take a couple pieces off of here for my eyes but first I'm going to prime my eyelids with um, the Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer by Elizabeth Mott. Um, I think I got it in my Ipsy. You know, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Anyway, um, it's pretty good. You know, primer. So I am going to put that on first before I put my tape on. And, you know, I am using a magnifying mirror because I can't see up close at all anymore. And I am just kind of patting that in nicely um, and evenly. I haven't used this one in a while, so we'll see how this goes. And, okay, so, put that on and let it kind of soak in a little bit so it's not too, too tacky, but you want it a little bit. And then we're going to do the eyebrows. So, I am using a new eyebrow, <sighs> Sherry Moya Max Makeup. see it um, and with an eyebrow brush and let's see I do have it out here okay so just an angle eyebrow brush and this is very very rich so I'm just kind of tapping it in there and so basically I have pretty good eyebrows but they're light in color because I am a natural blonde um, and I haven't colored my eyebrows in a little bit. So I'm starting underneath 
and just light strokes and um, it's kind of a warm it's a soft warm brown kind of an auburny color and I like a nice eyebrow not too too crazy like you know the younger girls do but I think that's beautiful but if I do go out and if I'm getting all dressed up I might do something closer to that so in just a little bit here so it's not too dark in the front you want it to shade out lighter to darker and then just tap it in it is so rich this stuff is gonna last me forever you don't have to use much and it does last a long time the other day I was using this primer that I'm going to use on my face and it's called the, the uh, pores no more anti-aging mattifying lotion and it's really I don't know if it's a primer or a lotion but I used that I did my makeup and we had such a, a long night I fell asleep with my makeup on and yes I am guilty of that and then the next morning, I don't remember what happened. I think we were gardening or something or cleaning up the yard. And I realized by the afternoon, my makeup was still on from the night before. It was crazy. So I was so pleased. My, my blush was on. I had foundation still on. My eyebrows were still on. It was crazy. You know, my mascara was underneath my eyes. But anyway, so um, I don't have to do a lot to the eyebrow. Just kind of define it a little bit. Make sure they're even. All right. Okay. Kind of. Looks kind of dark. But I think that'll mellow out. And it'll all blend nicely when everything is on. Okay, so this is when I am going to put the tape on. So I'm kind of just kind of going on the back of my hand so it's not too, too sticky. Um, this one isn't very sticky at all anyway. And I am going to go right underneath the edge of my eye and up to my eyebrow. And then the next one. I'm going to try to make it as even as possible. Boy, I look lovely. Lovely. All right. I had makeup on earlier this morning because my salon that I work in, that I rent a station at, got broken into last night. So I had to go and see if... Uh, I had lost my scissors or what I had lost and I didn't but a colleague of mine lost thousands of dollars of products I don't usually have thousands of dollars of just sitting there so okay I think that's pretty good yeah yeah okay all right so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a light color and sweep it all over my eyelid and what I'm gonna do this is the eye candy um, oh sorry eye candy hard candy birthday suit palette um, it's all matte which I love you know I might use a shimmer inside um, right on my my lid very barely but that's about it um, these are the top 10 trendsetters um, eyeshadow in matte. So we're going to take the, um, I'm probably just going to take this lightest one right here and I'm going to sweep it all over. We're just kind of, oh, for goodness sake, what in the world did I just do? Okay, big mistake. I have these really cute little, um, little washcloths. They're called, okay, this is when the glasses need to come on. 
exfoli soft. They're lush, microfiber, antibacterial, um, little washcloths. And what they do, I got them at a, probably a hair show. And what they do is they take off, you know, color, um, you know, hair color on the skin. If you just take it and damp it and rub it off, it comes right off. They're amazing. So that took it off really well. So that brush was clearly not clean. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's put a little bit of that eye primer back on since I wiped it off really quickly. Sure. All right. Okay. So let's get a clean brush so that I can do this properly. And All right. This is the Mac it's 224. I had this all written down so I didn't have to. Yeah, the MAC 224 blending brush. Um, I had it all written down so I wouldn't have to put my glasses back on 50 times, off and on, off on. All right, so I'm going to take that light color, tap it off, and just kind of sweep it on all over the whole lid. So this will give me a good base so that my eyeshadow colors will blend properly. And there you go, nice and swept. Okay, so, I'm sorry about the sniffles. I, uh, I don't know if it's allergies or the end of my cold. I had the worst case of bronchitis still sound like a man a little bit a little horsey okay so my favorite favorite transitional color is the orange <laughs> obviously right you can tell that I use it a lot it's a nice warm orangey brown light orangey brown and so I'm just gonna sweep it up here at the top And I'm kind of, I'm not dipping down into my socket this time. Sometimes I do. I'm just kind of going straight across. I am starting to get the hooded eye. And I'm learning all sorts of cool little tricks about hooded eyes. And they say, you know, a little straight across and up. So other side. Yeah, this brush is a Mary Ann. Um, brush. And I, it's a nice blending brush. I really like it. Works pretty good. All right, so the next color that I am going to use, sorry, is the gray the gray color because we're going to use a little bit of blues and some browns and stuff so i'm just going to go right a little bit underneath where i did and kind of give me a little bit of a crease and just keep sweeping the more you blend the better especially on crepey eyes just continue And we're gonna build it. We're not gonna make it too dark, but I do want a nice transition. And I have really a lot of redness under my eyes, so that's why I have to use a primer. Okay. Can tell it all it's starting to build in. Okay, so there is a I like a gray green color right here and we're gonna use the same brush this one is um, the glamour dolls number 10 I got this in the ipsy bag 
kind of nice. I like it. We're going to kind of go right a little bit. I'm going into right underneath what I just did a little bit, not onto my eyelid, but I'm only going halfway in because this is where we're going to start. We're going to start doing a nice um, cat eye without liner. And it gives me a nice start of that. Okay. So, starting to see a little bit of a crease. I lost my crease. I had the biggest eyes when I was younger. It's crazy. Okay, so I have this cheapy little brush, and it's a nice little shadow brush. And I am going to start you with that first. And I'm going to go into this kind of bluish gray color lightly. We're not going to just tap it off. And we're going to start right where the tape is. And we're going to kind of come over because I want to lift that eye up. And we're going to kind of go down to the lash line and over. Kind of like you would do a cat eye. And we're going to build, so this is going to look really light at first. We're going to keep my lid light toned so that it'll open my eye up. Other side. Where's that hair from? Okay. We make the funniest faces when we do makeup, don't we? Alright. A little bit more. Let's come down into the middle of the eye. And having the tape there really helps. I really like, like that. Okay. I am going to go with a smaller brush. And this is a Marianne also. There's no number. It's very tiny very very tiny brush and I am going to go into the dark brown and that dark bluish gray color and I'm going to start where'd my light go holy moly's kicking it with my foot crazy okay here we go lift my eye and I'm just kind of Still doing that nice cat eye, smoky cat eye. I have a lot of control with this little tiny brush. I really like it. Okay, brown, grayish blue, just to darken that up a little bit. Build it in. Kind of ombre effect. Transitional color. And just keep sweeping keep blending and getting it even you know you know how hard that can be so you can start seeing a little bit of that okay so really quickly I'm going to take my Mac no this is a TG angel poof <laughs> angle angle brush almost look like a Mac. You can kind of see it a little angle. And I am going to take, I have this palette by Sorme. It's a professional contour kit. It has a beautiful, beautiful shimmer down here. It's very subtle of a, sh of a shine. Um, and that's about as much as I'll do on my eyes. The more shimmer you have on crepier, older eyes, the more wrinkles, the more crepe will come out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of pat it on right in the whole the whole part of my eyelid, but not into the sweeping we just did or the cat eye 
dark colors we just did right up to the lot this you know socket line and you can use anything honestly this is just what I'm using what works for me and then I'll go back with my blending brush and I like to take it into the corners here. I'm really kind of dark in through there and I want to brighten that up and make my eyes bigger. All right, now what I'm going to do is take it, uh, take that, you can take a clean one. This is just what I used for the light first color. And I'm just kind of, kind of gonna lightly go over very light hand To blend it out we don't want any harsh lines at all and then I'm going to take the very small brush again dip it in those dark colors and just really quickly and then I'm gonna start bringing it into the eyelid socket right there to give me a, a little bit of a contour can you tell? Okay, one more time. Other side. And just a little. And sweep up. All right. It's looking pretty okay. I don't do eyeliner very often. I think it closes my eyes smaller. I will tight line. And this is uh, the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And I'm going to just tight line. I'm going to lift my eye just ever so slightly. Some people can go without lifting it. I can't. My eyes will just start watering crazy. I'm just going to go in on my lash line. And it darkens it up very nicely. It makes the lashes appear thicker right at the base. And I've always had great lashes, but as I've gotten older, you know, that's gone bye-bye also. See, I'm already tearing up. All right, so let's talk about that new mascara that I have um, been introduced to. So the mascara is called, all right, let's see if we can get it. It's a nice gold tube. And I doubt if you can see it like that. I have too much shine. All right, so it's called Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. This is a professional mascara. Um, you can get it online. Um, I found it through the Grande website. Um, I do have a wholesale license, so I can get it um, wholesale. And I think wholesale is like $12. So it must be like $24 retail. Um, this stuff is amazing. A colleague of mine that I work with at the salon had some samples of this that she got last year. She gave me, what do I hear? Anyway, she gave me a, a small little tube. I think the sample tube is right here. It's very tiny, very, very tiny. And um, I absolutely loved it. So you do not have to curl your eyelashes it has a lash boosting formula in it to where it starts thickening up your lashes. It is amazing. My bottom lashes were almost gone and now they are thicker and plumper and you can actually see them. It's amazing. I think I was shaking the camera. Were you guys like getting dizzy? All right, so what we're gonna do. Oh, totally forgot the other part. Okay, where to go? There also is a Grande Primer. 
that goes um, along with it, fortified with lash plumping peptides. I like using the primer. It gives you, it almost looks like you have false lashes on. I was given this the other day. My birthday was on the 29th of November, so um, I was given this by my colleague, and I started using this with the mascara. Amazing, seriously. So it's just a nice white um, primer, and um, it has a really nice wand. Um, it lengthens and thickens the lashes. Uh, so when you go in with the mascara, you have more lash to work with, I guess. That's how it would be. So we put that on. And go to the other side. All right, here we go. Oh, I almost sniffles. Did everybody have a wonderful Thanksgiving? I did. I got to go two houses. My daughter and her fiance just bought a house. So she was, I think she got it like a few days before Thanksgiving. And she's like, gosh, I'm having Thanksgiving at my house. I'm cooking. And I'm like, oh my God, I have to be split up between my kids now. I have four of them. So I went to her house first. And then I went over to my son's house where the original Thanksgiving was being held. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was kind of nice. They live kind of close together. Not too, too far. Maybe about 10, 15 miles, 10 to 15 miles away. All right, so primers on. Here we go. It has a nice, you know, kind of a fat wand. And you will be amazed when you use this how much lash you will get. And just make sure you cover all that white that you put on. I like a lot of lash but I don't like wearing false eyelashes all the time. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Take a little Q-tip or a long Q-tip. Just kind of clean up any, any mistakes you might have made. If you don't, you are better than I am. I used to use the old Maybelline Great Lash Mascara forever. Um, not the waterproof one because as we all know that takes your eyelashes right out but this one's so much better I still have the great lash for like if I'm just kicking around the house or whatever I do like to have my eyelashes on even if I'm home you know in case some fabulous man comes to the door or something since I am single it doesn't happen here though. It's just me and my roommate. All right, so can you tell at all? I really like it. All right, so bottoms. And I am not putting, oh, let's take the tape off. That might help. Can you tell at all? You know. I am using my iPhone. Oh, gosh. All right, so let's finish that up. Anyway, I'm not going to put any um, shadow at the bottom of my eyes because it makes my eyes a little bit smaller. And it's kind of daytime, so I'm just going to keep it nice. Okay. That's it for the eyes. Let's see, can you tell? This weird light on. Can you tell the difference? It's pretty nice, I like it. Now, for the face. All right, so light goes back on so I can see. 
All right, so we are going to use that. Um, it's Dr. Brant's um, Pours No More. And I am almost out of it, and I am definitely going to go get some more because it came in my Ipsy bag, I don't know, a while ago. And it has a nice, a little bit of a yellow hue to it, so that's nice for my red skin. And I'm just going to kind of pat it on. Now, it says it's a, a, a lotion, and it doesn't say anything about primer, but it definitely has that primer feel. Pours no more. I'm assuming it's almost like a, you know, a blur. And my pores are getting a little bigger down in here, right in through here and on my nose. I was having such problems with my makeup and my foundation um, kind of separating. I went out and bought, you know, the fabulous uh, Lancome Renergy Lift Makeup. I absolutely love it. This one is in... Um, it's the 230P40C um, sunscreen broad, broad spectrum SPF 20 lifting anti wrinkle radiance normal to dry skin and that's the the color is 230P40C all right so I recently bought one of the eye beauty you know, foundation brushes. This one's a small one, kind of a small one. There are bigger ones. <laughs> Granddaughter, she's 18, and she's highly into makeup. She does a fabulous job. Um, we both got one that day, and she said, get the smaller one because, um, you know, it can fit in different areas of the face. All right, so I'm just going to actually pump it onto the brush, and I'm just going to go in circular motions underneath where my redness is there and it does come up a little light for me but not I mean it pretty matches right on especially in the winter time but I love it oh my god it makes my skin dewy younger feel looking not so dry and it covers my nose area it doesn't tend to separate all right, so the forehead, and don't mess your line up from your tape when you do this. I am going to kind of blend it out because that line looks pretty hard, if you can tell. I don't want it that hard looking. I do want a little bit more natural. All right. Now, if for some reason you feel that um, this kind of a brush doesn't work for you, of course, you take your damp beauty blender. Um, the only problem with this makeup and the, the beauty blender, the damp beauty, it kind of thins the formula out. And I like a little bit of fuller coverage, so not too full because I don't want to look cakey at all. And cut down here. All right. Now, if you feel like it does start looking cakey, okay, then you can take that beauty blender. And don't forget to sweep it down your neck. You don't want any lines. I am going to take it just a touch. Okay. Actually, I like it better without the beauty blender. Okay. Can you tell? That's actually better lighting, isn't it, for you guys? Okay. Lid back on. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my the the It Bye Bye Pores translucent powder. I think it's a trans yeah, translucent powder. And I'm going to lightly take a the Elf blush brush. I love this little brush for putting powder on. Just kind of tap it. I'm just kind of tapping it. Now I'm not using any concealer under my eyes today. There's no need. I'm puffy. I'm puffy, right? I didn't sleep well last night at all. And this stuff really works. It does blur the pores. Okay. And I kind of do go in and kind of just circle lightly around where I'm going to add my blush. Oh my god. My whole camera just shut off. So, you didn't get to see the blush be put on or my contour or my lipstick or the final results but this is the final look I hope you enjoyed let's get that light off hope you enjoyed it look pretty good today so um, thank you for watching I will try to keep it a little shorter next time because you know my storage is being ridiculous um, I hope you have a great great week and I will see you soon Thank you.